I'll be showing the all new Copilot in PowerPoint. Copilot's got some major upgrades in PowerPoint to make it easy to create beautiful presentations and there's new time saving features to check out. So let's get started. As we get started, make sure you have the M365 Copilot subscription and I'm gonna to go to the file menu and you'll see this create with Copilot. And this is the easiest way to get started quickly. I'll click this. And this is going to be the narrative creator UI and it says create a presentation about, and I'm just going to paste in, make it about office space, the movie, make it fun and engaging and be sure to reference Bill Lumberg, TPS reports, red staplers and other stuff. Now you can also change the length of this. So I might want to say three slides or medium or long, or just suggested by copilot. If you want to let copilot suggest it, we'll say, make it medium. Now you can reference files. I'll show that a little bit later. One of the new updates though is, I'm gonna show the fun one first, you can have creative mode. And this is rolling out right now to our early frontier customers, but I'll choose creative mode and we're just gonna hit go. And now it's gonna draft up an outline for me to look at. So here is an outline that PowerPoint Copilot has drafted up and it hasn't added any styles or content yet. So you can kind of look at the outline, you can change stuff, you can add a topic if you want. So if I wanted to add a new topic, I could delete things and you can move things around. You might want to say, Hey, I want to move this one up here. And so it's kind of nice to have this drafted out before Copilot goes and spends a bunch more time to get going. So now I'll choose preview slides and it's going to draft up a preview. Okay. So it's drafted up a really nice looking presentation and I can preview all these different slides here. Oh, wow. This is kind of a fun set of styles and it's a cartoon. This again, this is creative mode. I wanted to show how nice and cool this looks really cool stuff. Now, if you want to make changes to a specific slide, you can just go right up here and have copilot make changes to that specific slide. So if I found a slide that I wanted to change, it's really easy to do. But I'm just going to hit add to presentation now. And here is the full layout right here. It's going to make a nice narrative for everything. So Copilot's going to help out there. All right, here is my full deck. And this is now in the view that is the slide sorter view. So I can sort of see, I can collapse and default the narrative that it put together, but it looks pretty incredible. I'm going to go to normal view here. And now I've got my whole office space slide deck and I use that creative mode to make this. I didn't do anything other than say, you know, add red staplers and TPS reports and add some good quotes, but you know, there's Milton, there's Bill Lumberg, there's Peter Gibbons, pretty amazing stuff. It's even added all of my speaker notes down here. So if you check the slides, all the speaker notes are added in. This is just a beautiful deck. Pretty excited about this. Now we're going to go back and create another presentation and we're going to make a more simple one this time. And I'll show some other features that PowerPoint and Copilot have. So we'll hit file and create with Copilot again. This time we're going to point to an existing file we have. I have a TPS report document. So this is a standard sort of a status report, executive summary, financial data, highlights, etc. And we're going to point to this file when we make our new PowerPoint deck. Create a presentation about the attached TPS report document, throw in a few office space quotes to make it fun. We will set the length to be short. You want a short presentation. And now I'm gonna choose my reference file. So I'll click this and it might have some files, but I can upload a file directly. I'm gonna attach a cloud file. I have my TPS report document here. We'll select it and we'll leave the style as default. We won't choose creative mode. This will just be default style and I'll hit go. So Copilot's gonna suggest an outline for me. So just four slides because I chose short mode and down here now, because I didn't use creative mode, I have recommended presentation styles and there's lots of different PowerPoint presentation template styles. The other thing, your organization may have standard branding kits. So I'll go to your organization. I work at Microsoft, so I can go into here and here's the standard Microsoft brand template. I'll choose this and now I'll say generate slides. Okay, I drafted out some slides. These are not as exciting because I didn't use creative mode and I chose the Microsoft generic brand kit. That's fine, we'll say keep it. Now I'm gonna go to view and choose normal mode. Some other nice things I can do in Copilot. Normally it generates speaker notes, but for the sake of this demo, let's say that I had a deck that didn't have any speaker notes and I took all my speaker notes out so there's nothing here. If I go to the view menu and I drop down notes, I can now say generate speaker notes for all slides. I can do a current slide or all slides. So let's try this. Okay, nice. We'll say keep it. I've now got slide notes for every single slide. 
So really easy to do that. The other nice thing I can do is generate a PowerPoint deck in any language. If I click the little sparkle button right here, one of the new options is translate this presentation. If I choose this, on the right, this pane opens up. Let's say I wanna put this presentation into Norwegian and we'll hit translate. Instantly, a new PowerPoint is generated and it's completely translated into Norwegian. So it's super fast and easy to make new decks in different languages. And we'll minimize this and go back to the English deck. Another nice feature is I can select any content in PowerPoint and I get this little magic pencil. If I click this, I can auto rewrite, condense, or make professional. Maybe I wanna make this more professional. Okay, that's more boring. Summary and insights from the TPS report. Great, let's keep that. I can also easily open up the Copilot button here on the Home tab. And maybe I wanna add an image of Bill Lumberg right here. So let's just ask Copilot. Please create an image of Bill Lumberg holding a TPS report. Hey, there's Bill Lumberg with the TPS report. So I can hit plus to insert it onto the slide or I can hit copy image if I wanna paste it elsewhere. I'll just hit plus. Okay, I've got him on the slide and maybe I'll go here. Now maybe I want some design suggestions. So design suggestions with Copilot gives me a few options. So I've got a nice set of options. Oh, I kinda of like this one. Okay, looking good, Bill. Now I'll quickly show custom image creation. So I'll go to file, create with Copilot, give it a quick prompt. Presentation about the cultural impact of the movie Office Space, hit go. Okay, so here's my outline. I'm gonna scroll down and under image preferences, you can drop this and I chose stock images or you can do brand images, but you can also choose AI generated images. You can do automatic, you can do whimsical, retrofit. I'm gonna choose flat design and hit generate slides. And very quickly, it makes some really interesting slides with that flat image design. We'll say keep it and we'll just go into slideshow mode. So here we go, cultural impact of the movie Office Space. And we'll just jump ahead to show some of these images. So really cool images here. And again, it's something, a style that AI can create. You've got lots of different options to choose from, but that gives you a sense of how to use the AI creation for images in PowerPoint. The other nice feature in Copilot and PowerPoint is that you can create a new slide with Copilot. So I've got a deck here about all of our education updates, and I wanna create a new slide with Copilot. It says, describe the slide you'd like and add a reference if you need. So I wanna make the top new features in this document, and I'm gonna reference a big Word blog document that we have with all of our new education updates. So I'll hit forward slash. I've added the AI powered learning document, and now I'm just gonna hit go. So Copilot drafts up a slide. Great, PowerPoint made a slide, top new features in Microsoft 365 education. Had the image it pulled in, pulled out some of the top points. Maybe I wanna update this, I can just select this chunk, hit the magic pencil. I can make it a list, make it more professional. I could auto rewrite, maybe I wanna try that. It redid it, maybe I like that, maybe I don't. Maybe I just hit undo. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this as is, but as you can see, there's many different options you can twiddle with after PowerPoint makes that slide. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.